was an event taking place in Birmingham to celebrate the 30th anniversary of the release of the Dexys Midnight Runners uh, debut album, Searching for the Young Soul Rebels. And it's taking place on the 17th of July. We'll feature original runners and very special guests. And on the line now, one of the original uh, members of the band, Jeff Blythe, and the co-promoter of the event, um, Ian Jennings. And, uh, well, Jeff, um, first of all, thank you very much indeed. What time is it in Canada? Um, actually, I'm in New York, Janet. Are you in New you? York? <laughs> yes, I am. That was a nice track you just played. I was about digging through the drawer for a tie-dye T-shirt. <laughs> it's very West Coast 70s, isn't it? Oh, yeah. But I think the best bits are the West Coast um, yeah. 70s music. But that's a coral with a completely different sound, actually. Um, yes, so um, uh, are you excited about this? I am. I'm really looking forward to it. It should be nice, you know, see a few old faces and such, yeah. And whose old faces are you going to be uh, coming face to face I, I with? I have absolutely no idea. <laughs> <laughs> we'll see who shows up. But, but, I will tell you this, right? Um, the first 50 people through the door get a, f- a free Bureau CD. Oh, uh, right. Which is, a, which is a, an EP sampler from our new album, which I'm just putting the finishing mixing touches to. This okay. Week. Is that why you're in New York? Um, no, I've been in New York for like over 20 years now. Um, my main gig over here is um, I play with a Celtic rock band called Black 47. Yeah. So um, that's what I do over here. So um, who came up with the idea to actually, you know, celebrate the fact that we had this magnificent album um, 30 years ago and of course it's still being played? I, I think it was Ian. It must have been him, yes. Come in, Mr. Jennings. Hello. Hi. Hello, how are you? I'm good, good thanks, especially with this weather in rural North Yorkshire. It's got... It's got... Hey, you, how you doing? <laughs> so you've got it good in North Yorkshire as well? Yeah, we have indeed. Well, we always do. Yes, well, of course, of course. Yeah. Um, and who would I hope to argue? Um, so what what happened? Were you were a huge fan before... Well, um, exactly, yeah, I've been a Dexys fan ever since I first heard Gino, and obviously the album was just such a special album at the time when you think of punk and new wave, and then suddenly there was this eight piece soul band that's yeah. sort of, you know, performing what the other the other great lover man is Northern Soul. There was a lot of Northern Soul influences in it as well. But yeah. so there was like a punk band but with Northern Soul which was, was unique at the time. And I was with the uh, fellow Dexys fan who I've only met due to our love of the band, uh, Stuart Cranston and Neil Warburton in Manchester at an yeah. event uh, earlier this year and we just realised it was thirty years since the album came out and it was actually July. 1980 so we thought Let, let's do something and this is what we're doing and because uh, i just remember that vividly and as you say it was something i mean it was a great time for music um 70s into the 80s because there were loads of different things um going on and as you rightly say you had that um, i mean you had your tamla or you had your prog rock or you had your glam you had your northern soul and you had your punk and then the emergence of, of dixies um were you a northern soul fan yourself then are you talking to me, sir? Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Oh, yes, I, I mean, to be fair, I still go to Northern Soul events around the country now. Yeah, and, and you, I Jeff? Going, I was a bit too young when, when the album first came out. I was only 15. Mm. Um, so it wasn't until I was 18 that I um, got on train to start going to Northern Soul events, but uh, now I'm slightly older. I um, I still go to this day. In fact, I'll be going to one on next Friday. Brilliant. Where's that? It's local to us. It's a local club. Uh, I'm, I live near York, and, and it's, it's, in, it's in that area. And uh, it's every every last round in the month. But there, there's also events that uh, I go to weekend as a press start in, which is packed yeah. out thousands of people. Yeah. And I go all over the place. It's still it's still very much an underground movement, but it's still very popular. It's incredibly pl- popular. Um, what about you, Jeff? I mean, your love of soul. Where did that come from? Um, I suppose you know. Like coming through jazz, getting into soul. I mean, being a saxophone player. I mean, I was like really, you know, preferred like the, the sudden, like sort of Memphis mm. thing, uh, stuff, yeah. stuff, which is which is where the whole like sound really was based upon. From uh, you know, Dexys. Like like I decided to act a trumpet, so we had the whole like, like lower end thing going on, and you know, and I've always loved that music. So. And why why do you think that um, particular album um, is you know holds a special place? in people's hearts. I mean, you talk to musicians, I mean, people like Pete Wiley and, uh, you know, Ian McNabb and what have you, they all remember that album so vividly and have such a love for it. Well, it is a great album and it was very iconic. I mean, it really did change things around. I mean, the, the one thing you, you didn't actually mention is we came on, well, it was just after the scar thing was happening. Yes, like, I mean, yes. Our, our, first, our first tour was with the, the specials when we replaced Madness because they were getting too big, you know, <laughs> so they sort of you know, dropped out of the tour. And we, that was our first 